Hey guys, it is Arika Misha and it is Saturday and I'm starting my cooking video out a little different today. Just wanted to do something different. Um, today I am cooking teriyaki shrimp and yellow rice. So I just wanted to start out in front of the stove. All right, let's get the stove on. All right, and I've got four teaspoons of butter. Four teaspoons, let's make sure you can see. Yes, yes, yes. Four teaspoons of butter. So, let's get our four teaspoons of butter. What I'm doing now is I'm getting ready to make a uh, teriyaki sauce. And I've got the four teaspoons of butter melting, as you can see. Um, I have some high five honey. And I have some Publix soy sauce. And I have some Publix teriyaki sauce. All right, just gonna make a quick little teriyaki sauce. Get that going. Get my measuring spoon here. Gonna get our butter melted. Let's cut the heat down. I don't need to heat up that high. Go ahead and get this butter melted. All right. Hope everybody is being safe out there. Hope everybody is families and friends. Everybody is doing great. Hope you guys are being safe out there. I know I am for the sake of me and my family and my girls. So just wanted to say that. And once again, thank everybody for all your love and support. Watching my videos. Watching my cooking videos. My hauls. Watching everything. Because once again, I am a woman that God has blessed with many talents. I do all kinds of stuff on my channel. And it's just stuff that I do as a mom. And I'm sure there's other moms that do the same thing I do. I cook, I clean, I bargain shop, I coupon. You know us women. We got to be able to do it all nowadays. I work full time. I do YouTube full time. All right, guys. So we got our butter here. Our butter is all nicely melted. So next thing I want to do, I want to add my teriyaki sauce. And of course, you guys can use whatever teriyaki sauce you want to use. I've got one, um, one tablespoon of teriyaki sauce. I've got two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce. Let's cut it down. We're going to cut it down. We don't need it doing all that. We want everything nice and hot, but not that hot. So I cut my heat down some because I want to get this sauce made. So I've got two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce. I'm going to go ahead and do a third one. All right. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and add. I'm only going to add because we don't want it too salty. I'm only doing one tablespoon of soy because y'all already know how soy is soy is salty all by itself so all right we've got four tablespoons of butter we've gotten so far we've gotten three tablespoons of uh teriyaki sauce and we've got one tablespoon of soy making our teriyaki sauce for our shrimp now i've already got the pre-cooked shrimp i'll show you guys those all right, let's get our honey in here. And of course, you guys know the honey is going to make it sweet. And the honey is going to thicken everything up. So we've got two tablespoons of honey. And like I said, the honey is going to thicken everything up. And you guys can see real good. Okay. Four tablespoons of butter. Three tablespoons of teriyaki sauce. One tablespoon of soy. And so far, two tablespoons of honey. I like to see how it's going first before I add more honey. If it's not thick enough, I'll add another thing of honey. Let's see, you see how it's tasting so far. Mmm, tastes good. Let me see. Mm, that's good. I need a little bit more honey. I'm gonna do two more tablespoons of honey. I want it a little bit sweeter. 
I like my, my teriyaki to be nice and sweet. And like I said, my, I forgot the uh, pre-cooked shrimp. So our shrimp is already cooked. So that's why I'm making the sauce. And then I'm just going to add the shrimp. And that's it, guys. Quick and easy. Y'all know me. Quick and easy. Quick and easy. And I'm going to cook my yellow rice. Y'all know. I love my yellow Mahatma yellow rice. I'll cook that in my rice cooker. All right. We're going to let that thicken up. And as it cooks, the honey thickens it up. As you guys can see, it's going to thicken itself up. Looks yummy. Let me taste it. Oh, that tastes good and sweet. Nice and sweet. It's all thickened up. You guys can see. That's all nice and thick. All right. Let's add some shrimp. Get all this clothes and out of the way. Let's get our shrimp added to this masterpiece. All right. And I'll show you guys my shrimp. I have the peeled divain and I took the tail off uh, jumbo shrimp. You guys saw these in my Publix haul. So I've already seasoned them. I didn't season them with too much because of course you guys know this teriyaki sauce and this soy sauce is already sweet with the honey and you know the salt. The soy sauce and the teriyaki sauce is a little salty itself. So I just did a little salt, a little, um, I'm sorry, garlic salt. I did a little pepper. I did a little bit of garlic oil bay and of course my parsley. That's all I did to the shrimp. So, let's go ahead and add our shrimp. Okay. And remember, our shrimp is pre-cooked. So, we ain't trying to cook the shrimp. It's already cooked. We're just going to get that uh, teriyaki sauce all over our shrimp. That's all we doing. Get this all nicely coated. And we're going to let it just sit and soak in the juices. I'm going to cut my heat down. Cutting my heat down. So all we want the shrimp to do is just soak in the goodness. Soak in all that goodness. With that honey. That soy sauce. The teriyaki sauce. All of that. And I add honey to give it a sweetness. That honey gives it a nice little sweet taste. So you've got like a, yeah, kind of like a sweet salty, but not really. Yeah, it is with the honey. It's a little sweet salty. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and let these shrimps get all comfortable in there. Let's get them all in the, in the sauce. All right. You guys can see how it is looking. It looks good. So we're going to let the shrimp sit in our teriyaki sauce. I'm going to cut that heat back up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just going to cut the heat up a little bit. All right, guys. Okay. You guys see the shrimp? I'm going to take you guys in. Yeah. They look delicious. So what I do, I'm going to let them just sit there. Let them sit there on that side, guys. So that side can get soaked, you know, soaking all the goodness. And then I'll turn them over. So the other side can get some of that goodness. And as you can see, I cut the heat up a little bit. So it's going to start to simmer. And see how the other side is going to get brown? Let me turn that back over. Just going to let it sit there and soak in all the goodness. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and let our shrimp do that. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get that uh, yellow rice in my rice cooker. And then when I come back, you guys will see the finishing. The teriyaki shrimp. We've already got that done in like, what, five minutes? And um, it's going to take our rice about 15 minutes in the rice cooker. Quick and easy meal, guys. I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. I've got the shrimp all done. You guys saw me do it, so you know I did it. And my rice just got finished. Let me take you guys over here to the rice. 
my rice in the rice cooker just got finished. Go ahead and zoom you guys over there to that rice. All right. Let me give that rice a little stir for y'all. Oh yeah, rice cooker cooks it perfect every time. All right, guys, teriyaki shrimp and yellow over yellow rice. You guys saw me do it, so you know I did it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. All right, guys, bye.